for us in India, given that we had a very deep freedom movement, and you know, Gandhi had written this book while he was still in South Africa, while he was fighting against the British, called Hind Swaraj or Home Rule. Now, Home Rule was the language in Hawaii and all over the world, self rule, um, that true democracy really is as much power in the hands of people and communities and at the local level, especially on issues that are life and death matters. Issues of our water, issues of our food. And therefore, in all of these 50 years of my work in movements, the power of the local to say no to pollution, the power of the local to say you cannot log our forest, which is you know, the first movement I was involved in, the Chipko movement where women came out to hug the trees, that power to say no to injustice is a very vital part of democracy. And Gandhi had a beautiful word for it called Satyagre, the force of truth. But you can't say no to the unjust, the brute, the violence against the earth, uh, the extractivism, unless you create the alternative, both of governance as well as economy. I think the trick that has been played is to put democracy into purely electoral system and take away its soul, which is participation. Exactly. And 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 participation in affairs that make a difference to life. Therefore, you've got to bring the economy back. And this becomes particularly important when the economy is being made invisible. See, when you know, when Ford exploited the workers, the workers would organize. They knew who's making the money from their exploitation. But I would love to see how many people can see big tech as the new dictators and enslavers. Yeah, they're so invisible. The digital slavery is so invisible. Not only is it invisible, it seduces you to become you're the slave. You volunteer to be enslaved. You volunteer to have your data mined. You volunteer. So for me, humanity rising, Jim, today is humanity reclaiming its humanity, its flesh and its mm -hmm. blood and its love and its compassion and its solidarity and its togetherness. Yeah, I really love what Vandana was saying, um, that it starts at the local level and that it is, it's not just starts at the local level, but it, its soul is at the local level. Politics is has conformed to the uh, uh, data-driven broadcast model of communication that obliterates person-to-person -person person -person -person relationships. Now, it, it seemed for a while that social media was going to uh, allow us to reclaim peer-to-peer uh, -peer relationships. But now we see how that has been hijacked by centralized power also, even to a greater degree than before. And now in the COVID era, um, the ideology that human life can be reduced to digital interaction has risen to a new height where, where you know, you're not, like, like you're not supposed to uh, protest against lockdown because you can still live uh, your virtual life, uh, purchase your things that get delivered to your door, have Zoom meetings instead of live meetings, uh, even dance parties where everybody dances in front of their camera together and has a great time. Uh, and where also where every interaction is surveilled and possibly controlled. This fundamental right of freedom of assembly, freedom of speech is now in the hands of um, of corporations. And really it's a corporate political complex. The, you, it's, you really can't distinguish anymore uh, between the state and the corporation. They're totally interwoven into each other. So democracy 
requires that first that we re revalue, like we have to validate the things that cannot be reduced into data, that cannot be converted into quantity. The, the transhuman dream or nightmare, as, as Vandana and I would both put it, uh, depends on a basic ideology of quantity that, 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 that aspires to a future where everything is rationally uh, optimized by uh, computer algorithms that keep track of every person and everything. It's called the internet of things to get everything uh, into the world of data so that you can rationally administer the whole thing uh, toward a, uh, an ideal that is also measurable. So the basic ideology is that there is nothing that cannot be measured and that everything important can be measured. And it's so, so it, it, this is a type of reductionism that has deep scientific roots, the, the reduction of life to quantity. Economics is part of that ideology because it's the reduction of life to money, which is, the, which is in economic uh, ideology, it's, it's, it's uh, the reduction of happiness to, to money. It's the measure of utility as it's called in economics. So this is a, a huge ideology that encompasses economics, technology, governance, and democracy is really a reclamation of humanity, as von Lano was saying. This, this is saying, this is what humanity rising is. It's to reclaim the qualitative, it's to reclaim the human, it's to reclaim the relational. It's to come back mm. into community, into relationship, um, into the things that are not mediated by digits.